Ah, guys, today's the day. We've just found out that we've completed and we are officially going to head over to the estate agents now to get the keys and then go to the house. Are we excited? Super excited. Super excited. Super excited. Yeah. We're super excited. We've got a uh, boot, the whole car, to be honest, filled with stuff. Some stuff we'll leave, some stuff we just like wanted for today, like some champagne and a chair to sit on because it's going to be completely empty. Anyway, let's head over there and I will show you the whole house when we get there. Oh, we've got our keys, look! And they also gave us a bottle of Whispering Angel, which was so nice of the estate agents, but we've got them! And now time to get to our new house! Is it that key? Mm. Oh! oh, it's just open. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that, is that something for us already? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with like showing you around. It's obviously so different than when we viewed it because it's now completely empty, like all the furniture's gone. But this, this is our living room. This is where we're gonna have all of the cozy vlogs. It's probably so echoey. I'm sorry for the sound. Let me show you a little bit of this first living room. So you come in through the front door just there and then we're gonna have our sofa here and our TV up on the wall there. And then, <laughs> this is our gorgeous fireplace. Like, isn't it so stunning? I just think it's so naturally lovely. Before we even do anything to it, we've got these two alcoves and we are definitely going to replace the glass and kind of put in like built in like wooden storage there just to make it feel a little bit more homey. And then I'm gonna put like a big cozy armchair here probably. And then through here, we've got a little downstairs bathroom, which is so cute. And I already made a cat flap. So I'm like, oh, is it time to get a pet? I don't know. <laughs> so and then this, this is the kitchen guys. This is the showstopper of the home, I think. Look at this. I mean, Oh my gosh, it's literally my dream hour. It's our dream kitchen. There is so much storage everywhere and it's just so nicely done. Like, there's a Range Master cooker. I literally can't compute. I've got a proper Range Master oven. It's my dream oven. It's my dream cooking setup. And it's just so pretty. And then you come through here. This is the conservatory area. These actually open up as well and they close naturally when it rains. I mean, what on earth? Literally feels like we're in a dream. And then this is our gorgeous, oh, how do we get outside? Babe, do you wanna come outside? Okay guys, and then this is the garden. When I say, this is still like, I just, <laughs> it just doesn't feel real. It like fully doesn't feel real, okay. This is our lovely garden. And you would be correct if you just spotted in the background that up here is the river. Oh, look at the swans. Oh. <laughs> so right backing onto our place is the river. I mean, wow, it just feels so surreal. I literally can't believe it. Are you happy? Ecstatic. Do you like it? I love it. Are you, are you, are you looking forward to living here? I can't wait to live here with you. Yeah. <laughs> I've also always really wanted a window over my sink because I just think the natural light is so pretty. Got that as well. And I think we've got like the washing machine in here, which they've left, which is amazing. Oh, it's honestly a dream. I am so excited to decorate this place, you guys. I have, you, oh, oh, Okay, shall we take a look upstairs? Okay, time to head upstairs. I'm just gonna take my shoes off. They've left it pretty clean for us, which is nice. Okay, so we head up the first flight upstairs. And then we've also got like a big gorgeous window in the staircase, so nice. Okay, let me show you. So, head up the stairs. This is one of the bedrooms. I actually haven't even been up here at all yet since we moved. 
So they had like a double bed here, which we'll replicate to be honest. So we'll have a double bed there. Again, like gorgeous windows looking out into the street and into our front garden. Lots of shelves. I might turn that into wardrobes, you know. I'm not sure if I need that many shelves for stuff. Might turn that into wardrobes. And then we've got more wardrobes over this side. Oh yeah, quite deep as well. Oh, even with a little mirror. Hi guys. Yeah, so love that. Proper wardrobes, which is good because Cameron's got quite a lot of clothes. And then we come across here. And this is the study, which again, I'm so excited to be able to set this all up. So this is like technically the third bedroom, technically uh, office, obviously. And because we both work from home, like having an office is really important to us. And all this stuff is like already built in. Like honestly, this property, we just don't need to do anything to it. It's amazing. And then if I remember correctly, cause we haven't been here since the viewing, this is storage. Yes, incredible which is so great that, oh my gosh, it actually goes up so high. So we've got lots of awesome storage there. Love that. They had a lot of their coats up there, I think. And then this is the shower room. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, that extractor fan's quite noisy. We might have to replace that. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> so gorgeous. Again, everything feels like quite new and they've left it really clean, which I so appreciate. We love that. Really, really, really nice. And then finally, the master bedroom. <sighs> I just think the space in here is so good and it looks straight out onto the river. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So again, I think we'll have the bed coming out from there bedside tables either side. We've obviously got all of these wardrobes, which are great. Let me just remind myself how much like, oh yeah, they're so lovely. And again, oh, they've got mirrors there again, which is really nice. So quite nice and deep and everything. So we'll be able to make proper use out of those. And then we've also got a little ensuite through here with a bath. You guys know how much I am absolutely obsessed with baths, especially in the autumn winter season, which is where we are at right now. And then we've got the sink through here. The only thing I will say is that the bathroom storage is absolutely zero. So we need to find a way, maybe we replace the sink. I actually really love the old style effect and the fact that they're like Bayswater London appliances is really nice, but it does mean that there's just no storage whatsoever. Whereas if we replace the sink and kind of got built in storage, that might just be a little bit more practical because the only storage is this thing, which is like a bit weird in my opinion. There's like a mirror all down one side and then you can kind of spin it. Oh gosh, you can spin it. And there's some shelves, but it's not a lot, is it? Anyway, and then another little window. I just think, I just think it's so perfect. I just can't believe this is where I'm gonna be like, crawling into bed every night and reading my book and like starting my morning, being able to like open my windows and not being in a basement flat just means like, I can just open up my windows fresh every morning and like open the curtains and I'm not kind of straight on the street and... <sighs> oh my gosh. Lucky like, it just doesn't even come into it. I just, I feel so lucky and just so Anyway, let's go downstairs and be with Cameron because this is our moment, so um, we need to spend it together. How are you getting on? Oh, he's vanished. He's, he's not even here. He's already left me. One thing we did really want to do, oh yeah, was he's put the Whispering Angel straight in the fridge. Thank you very much, Cameron. I'm assuming he's getting stuff out of the car. He must be. We've bought a bit of like a weird eclectic mix of things from the car just for our first day because we're actually not doing like the full move today. I'll do a separate moving vlog when we transfer everything over. Today we are focusing on just getting here in the afternoon. We're both working so hard at the moment and we're working through weekends, which has been quite intense. So it's just not practical for us to be able to do it all in one day. So today it's just come over here, celebrate, have a look around, see what's what, make sure we've got all the keys to like work, all the different stuff understand any things that we think we need or might want to do differently in the house 
and then we'll start moving in a couple of days when we'll do like our big moving vlog and just move everything across. So yeah, today in the car we've brought a bit of a weird mix of stuff. We've brought like a hoover and some cleaning products in case they hadn't left it clean, which to be honest, they've left it pretty immaculate, but we'll probably do a bit of a clean ourselves just so that we feel comfortable that like everything's cleaned properly. And then we've also brought a over a bottle of champagne. We had no idea the estate agents were gonna give us some Whispering Angel, which is so generous of them. We've got some champagne, a couple of glasses. We've brought a chair just so that we've got somewhere to sit down. <sighs> Gosh, this is just the coolest thing ever. You're all probably gonna get very bored of my smile in this vlog because I literally can't wipe it off my face. But um, <laughs> yes, we have a couple more meetings that we need to do this afternoon each and they're coming up now, starting in a few minutes. The camera's is a little bit more serious than the ones I've got. So he's taken the chair and the study upstairs. We just managed to fit one in the back of my little car. Um, he'll bring his car over later in the week, but I just brought my car over and we managed to fit one in the back. So he is working in the study upstairs and I am sat on my new kitchen floor with my laptop and looking out at this view and I can just like hear the birds. I can't explain it. Like being out of London is just, it's so peaceful. Like I can hear the water, I can hear the birds tweeting. It's just amazing. And I can't wait to fill this space. So this is where we're gonna have our dining table. Like right in the middle here. And then we're thinking maybe like a sofa on this side or something, and maybe some like drinks cabinets or something there. Honestly, we're not really sure yet. Both pretty aggressive like planners and thinkers. And obviously as soon as we saw this place and put in our offer and our offer got accepted, we were immediately like, oh my gosh, what will we do here? What should we do here? What should we do here? And actually a massive perk that actually wasn't on our list is the fact that this place is done. Like we were really happy to buy somewhere that needed some work doing to it. But all that we could find on the market was places that needed like loads of work, like way outside of our budget, loads and loads of work. And then we found this place, which was like truly the top of our budget. And we wouldn't have any budget to do anything to it if we needed to. But this place just needs absolutely nothing doing to it. Like there's a few small things that we might want to do like over time, like the carpets probably could do with replacing. But for now, like everything is just perfect. <sighs> anyway, right, time to do a little bit of work on my laptop, sat on the floor of my new kitchen. And then as soon as Cameron and I are both finished with our meetings, which should only be in about an hour, we've got like two half an hour meetings each, then it's time to crack open the bubbles, I think. I think it's time. Okay, while we're still on our slightly chaotic tour, let me show you one of my favorite things of the whole house. It's one of those things that's been on my like, ultimate wish list, apart from the Range Master oven. I mean, that is like beyond a dream. But in terms of a dream kitchen, I have always wanted one of those areas that is like a breakfast bar, basically. So this shuts all like neatly and perfectly like this. And then you open it up and this, and like the doors kind of fold neatly like this and then we'll basically have like our kettle our toaster i'm gonna have like my cereals and basically this is just going to be like a breakfast section all of our teas and our coffees and then as you can see like they've had a tv built in there which i think to be honest will probably do the same and have like a tv there which as you can see it's got like a proper thing that you can like tilt out swivel pull it out and tilt it and then I think if we put like a sofa on that side, it'll be really nice to be able to just sit and watch the TV. Or obviously you can swivel it the other way if like somebody's cooking. I also love these lights, like even things like the lights. And that's so generous they've left these, to be honest. Like that's such a win um, that we don't have to buy anything like that. Like they're absolutely lovely. Like, oh damn, that's my meeting started exactly what I would have chosen. In here, they've taken their lampshades and stuff, which is fine, because actually the ones that were in here weren't really our style. Um, so that's absolutely fine for us. We just need to get ourselves some lampshades. That's one of the things that we definitely don't have. They've also been really generous at leaving things like the curtains. So for us, having the curtains is really, really handy. And they're actually really nice as well, to be honest, these ones, and they're decently clean, so 
very happy with that. I probably would have preferred if they went all the way to the floor, but I'm guessing maybe because they had cats. That's why they're further up, because I know cats can like go for curtains. Anyway, I'm just so giddy. Right, time to jump onto my meeting before I definitely pop open a box shelf. <laughs> This one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to drive on But not what it seems The poison is spilling upstream And it's taking out Every living mess we've made guys in literally like a couple of hours we are so excited wow 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 Yum. time for some pizza i'm screaming our first takeaway in the new place we've got some little arancini we got some little dips and then the main event some pizza Ooh. we've got like a white base one which looks pretty insane. And then we just got like a normal margarita. Yum! So now we're just gonna realistically sit on the floor <laughs> in the middle of our open space and eat our pizzas. And I literally just could not be happier. Cameron is on the phone to his family in South Africa, which is so sweet because my parents are gonna help us move in at the weekend, but his aren't really able to help him do that, obviously, all the way from Africa. So yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. We are demolishing the pizzas. No, that bit's yours. Is that mine? Yeah. Demolishing our pizzas. We were on the floor, but we've moved up here. So we're stood eating our pizzas. The rain has stopped, but everything feels very perfect, even amongst the mess. Mm -hmm. 